All right, y'all. Uh, we got uh, some potatoes today, and we got Cordell in the house. Back. He's back. Uh, we're gonna make some garlic bacon cheddar mashed potatoes. Uh, now, I'm well known for this recipe between friends and family, and this recipe is definitely one where an uncountable number of people have told me I need to go on YouTube and make these videos for you. So you guys are gonna love it. Check it out. Let's go. Uh, you guys, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Cardell, what are your thoughts? I'm still eating. <laughs> yeah, you won't stop eating it. Oh my gosh, you guys have got to make this. You have got to make this. You're going to absolutely love it. Uh, enjoy the video. All right, you guys. Uh, garlic, bacon, cheddar, mashed potatoes. Man, you guys are going to love this one. Uh, today's ingredients, we're going to need some uh, Sargento cheddar cheese. Uh, I usually use extra sharp cheddar, however, they are out. So we're just gonna go with the four cheese blend. Uh, either one should work out okay for you. Uh, heavy cream, sour cream, uh, two sticks of butter, garlic, of which we're gonna roast. Go check out our street corn mac and cheese video uh, to see how to roast that garlic. One, it's super delicious mac and cheese. And second, you learn how to roast garlic. Uh, green onions, some yellow potatoes, Yukon gold would be best. And last but not least, the star of the show, Bright's applewood smoked bacon. So uh, let's get right into it, shall we? All right, let's go ahead and get these potatoes peeled. Now the reason why we use the uh, Yukon Gold, uh, I've used russet before, uh, and you can. Uh, the Yukon Gold though is a little bit richer and smoother in texture, uh, and it's just a delicious, delicious touch. Now you guys could leave the uh, skin on. I have uh, many, many times. Uh, for this case though, we're going to go skin off. All right, you guys, I'm gonna uh, push through all these potatoes here real quick and get right back to you. All right, let's get some salt added to the water here. And I'm just using coarse kosher salt. About like you would pasta water. And we'll get these strained and get them added in. All right. There we go. All right, we'll get this back to a boil. We're good to go. All right, while the potatoes are going, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing fired up. And what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, saute some bacon and uh, have that ready, and then we'll get everything combined and incorporated. All right, let's go ahead and get the bacon going. Love, love this brand of bacon. So good. Super duper good. And we're just cutting uh, about square inch each. I usually use about pound of bacon uh, per five pounds of potatoes. So I usually, when I make this though, it's extremely large batches. All right, let's go ahead and get this on the pan. All right, let's go ahead and prep some green onions. All right, what I usually like to do is take off the ends. Some of that nice, fresh, crisp green onion here. Yeah, that's 
Dankeschön. And don't forget, we're also going to uh, use the roasted garlic on the street corn mac and cheese video, which we actually shot earlier today. Uh, absolutely amazing. Go check it out. All right, so green onions ready. Let's go ahead and get the roasted garlic rocking and rolling here. For the roasted garlic, uh, a tablespoon or so, something like that. All right, let's go ahead and get this bacon stirred up here. All we're doing is just getting all the pieces broken apart here. All right, let that run for a while. We're getting there. But the reason why you add salt, the flavor. Uh, salt it just like you would pasta water. Delicious, absolutely delicious. All right, you guys, we're just about there. Oh man, smells good. All right, we'll give this just a little bit longer here. So if you can break the potato, on the side of the pan, uh, just like that, uh, they're good. Yep. All right, those potatoes are definitely ready. Uh, bacon, oh yeah, bacon is almost there. Once you start to see a little bit of brown, uh, that is what you're looking for, is that caramelization, so. Uh, cool, I wanna get these potatoes off and uh, we'll rock and roll from there. All right, guys, I'll show you a really cool trick. Um, so as you can see, there's still a lot of water being held in these potatoes. Uh, one thing that you can do is put them back on the burner and on medium or medium low heat, uh, keep an eye on them and let all that steam and water evaporate. What happens is the potato gets drier at which point it can hold more flavor, cream, butter, bacon, all that good, great stuff. So, uh, good tip or trick, yeah, it worked. Oh man, smell of bacon, gotta love it. Got to love it. All right, that bacon is definitely good to go. Take that off. And what we're gonna do now uh, is get the butter and the heavy cream heated up here. And to be honest with you, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. You need to add a little more cream later on too. Uh, I like to go a little bit lighter on the cream with the butter, uh, cause the butter is better. And then add a little extra if I need to, just to get the viscosity that I'm looking for. Yeah, we'll get the second one in here. All right. Now, one thing that you can do, uh, and we could have in this recipe, but um, is to add like a sprig of rosemary to the cream and butter and then filter it out when you go to add it to the potatoes. It gives you a nice hint of rosemary, uh, but not overpowering. And you don't have uh, a bunch of rosemary in the mashed potatoes, so uh, works, works really well. All right, we're just gonna give these potatoes a little help here, getting all the moisture out. All right, you'll notice the uh, potato is getting lighter in color. That's because we're getting the water out of it. This is exactly what we want to see. All 
All right, you guys, as you can see, less and less steam, which means we're doing exactly what we're in attempt to do. Get nice, light, and fluffy. Exactly what we want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the uh, roasted garlic in with the milk and butter. That way we can get that going. And just like that. Oh boy, that smells good. Yum. All right, we're just about there. All right, majority of this is uh, white in color, so I'm gonna call it ready. All right, let's get this put together, shall we? this stage here, we're going to taste for salt, add salt, add pepper. The steam and heat really bring out the pepper notes. We're going to use a Teletary peppercorn. If not familiar with that, check out our mac and cheese video. You guys will learn all about it. Let's get this done. All right, not bad. Not bad. Does need a little bit of salt. Uh, bacon's gonna have some salt too, so not a crazy amount. Yeah, about like that. And let's get some of this Toa Cherry peppercorns going. Oh man, <laughs> the smell of this pepper is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, if you guys decide to buy some of these for yourself to try it, you will not regret it. Cracking the peppercorns fresh, huge difference. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the cream and butter and garlic mixed in here. Yes, please. All right, we're just gonna get all that goodness scraped in. There we go. All right, uh, there's various different ways you guys can mix this, but uh, I'm just gonna use a hand mixer for today. And we're gonna go ahead and toss in some sour, sour cream first. Ah, good dollop, I like that. That's good. All right, let's mix. All right, let's get the bacon added. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna get this just evenly incorporated here. All right, just like that. Uh, next, we'll get the cheddar cheese added. Let's go ahead and get this done. Now this you don't need to mix in super duper good, uh, just a rough mix. Otherwise it all blends in with the potatoes. You don't get the cheese pull and all that extra goodness. So just like that, the heat of the potatoes will warm up the cheese, get it all nice and melty, delicious. All right, last but not least, green onions. All 
All right, let's get this mixed in. All right, you guys, just like that. Try it out. Boy, I wish you guys could smell this. Ardell, you ready? Yeah, I am. I'm excited. <laughs> it looks freaking amazing. You guys are gonna love this if you make this, so uh, give it a try, shall we? Let's do it. All right. Ooh, bacon, cheddar, green onion. That is smooth. Mm, mm-hmm, mm. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Mm, 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 mm. Man. Wow. That is freaking amazing. That's really good. <laughs> well, uh, Cordell scale, 0 out of 10. 10 out of 10. There you go. Uh, for me, it's a 10 out of 10 without a doubt. So uh, you guys are going to absolutely love this. Make this. You'll enjoy it. Uh, until next time, ciao. I'm still eating it. <laughs> yeah, he won't stop eating it. <laughs>